All right, so thank you so far for your participation in uh, the DLO project uh, library renovation. This is really, really cool, and I'm starting to see many of the teams beginning to interact uh, within Slack. Uh, but several of you have had questions on how to use it on your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial video here to show you how to use it and what it actually looks like. All right, so first of all, go ahead and download it on your uh, on your phone. I'll do an iOS now and then I'll do an Android later. Um, go ahead download Slack. It's a simple app. Once you get there and open it up, I'll ask you to go ahead and sign in to an existing team or create a new Slack. So we already have the team available. So you want to actually put in the team name, which is the um, DLO project. You do not have to put the at slack.com because it's already populated for you. Go ahead and click on next. Once you do that, it's going to ask you for the email account that is associated with that particular team project. And you're going to use your uh, school account, your school email account, unless you're one of the mentors. You're going to use whatever account that you were invited to. All right, once you do that, it's going to ask you to put in your password that you've already selected for the account. If you have not uh, selected a password, you're going to choose one at this time. Once you do that, it's going to actually bring you, apologize for that, uh, into Slack. Everybody is automatically in the general page, so that will be the first page that will actually show up. Uh, from here, you can actually see the conversations that have been taking place thus far. A uh, great thing about it, it does actually, uh, just like on the desktop version, it gives you when uh, things will actually input it into Slack. Uh, separates it very well, I like that. Uh, so just like also on the desktop app, you put your messages down here. The plus sign is for if you want to add anything from your library, import from a file from somewhere. I'm going to click on that and show you that real quick. Um, automatically you're able to use your iCloud account if you're on iOS, if you've got things saved in there, your Dropbox account, or your, your District OneDrive account. But you will need that particular app and be logged into that on your phones. Uh, the more is just if there's any other applications that we have embedded within Slack, which we do not. Alright, go ahead and click Cancel. All right, so when you're actually communicating, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, if you want to send a direct message to someone or a direct mention, you want to make sure that you actually click the at symbol first. And once you do that, it automatically um, populates the people that are involved in that particular room. So if I want to send a message directly to uh, Mr. Jens, I'll put the at symbol. I'll find him on here. And there you see it puts, automatically puts his names and the colon, and then I can write my message. This is for the video and I go ahead and click on send okay the other thing is if you want to um, make it more interactive you'll use the uh, backward slash here so if I click this if you notice it automatically gives me options of how to use that or what can come afterwards so if I want to do Google Hangouts I can start a Google Hangout directly from here so if I type in Hangouts it asked me to start a Google Hangout. Okay, haven't necessarily played with that, you know, um, to see how it impacts on the other end. I believe you have to connect your Google account first. But another thing you can do is actually polls. So I can create a new poll. So once I put that poll in there, what I have to do is I have to use my quotation marks and put in the question. And I'm just going to do something just for an example. So I'm going to say, "What if?" That's my question, and then I'm going to put my options. Uh, just test one, and then I'm quote put quotations in quotations, then quotations again for the next option. I'm gonna put test two, of course, in quotations, and then test three for my third one. Beginning quotations. Oops, I put teeth. <laughs> so I'm distracted by the All-Star game. And then once I click on send, watch actually what happens it creates a poll for me automatically in there so everybody that's in here they now can actually see this poll you can actually vote so think about how you can use this in your private rooms uh, uh, you know, for your teams you know say it's voting on an image that you want uh, voting on the topic of conversation or whatever the case is the agenda um, this could be a very powerful tool uh, get around, get in there and go ahead and play with it and see what else it actually can do for you.
Okay, so of course I don't want that. Or say you put another message in there that you just you don't want to actually show. You did have a couple options on your phone. If you go ahead and just press on that particular message, you can copy test. You can archive it, and so on and so forth. You can add a reaction. You can star that message. That's how you would start any other messages that you want to appear up at the top, or you can just simply delete it if that's something you wanted to do. So we'll go ahead and delete that message. It'll ask you uh, if, you, if you're sure you want to do that. Yes, delete. And then that message is actually gone, like it never happened. Okay? Let's go on to the next thing. If you want to get to the channels, and I've been calling them rooms, but they're actually called channels, you'll go over to the top left-hand corner. Uh, if there is a circle with a number in there, thus to some notifications that uh, some uh, new information has been inputted in some of the channels that you belong in. Uh, but the, slack, the hashtag is uh, Slack's logo. So go ahead and click on that and it'll bring you to all the channels. Separated, of course, by what's unread. That's what your notifications are. If you have starred any of the channels and any other available channels. It's separated by private channels and direct messages and so on and so forth. So if you just want to go to the different channel, you just simply just click on it. And voila, it takes you directly to there and the interaction is the same. Uh, let's go ahead and um, see what else is available here. Next to the name of that particular channel, there's a drop-down menu. If you click on that, it'll tell you how many members are in that particular group, give you the option to invite others to that particular group. Uh, if you want to set your push notifications, it's there as well. And if you want to star that channel, meaning that it will show up at the very top, um, you can do that from there as well. Over on the right-hand side of the top, you have these three little dots. Right there, it will automatically bring you to anything that you were recently mentioned in, any files that has been added to that particular group. Once again, start items within that particular channel, the team directory, snooze notification, of course, the settings. And then if you want to invite someone, you can do that as well uh, from that particular uh, uh, setting. So once I click on settings, this is also where you will actually sign out. Okay, any other questions, let me know.